in the early 80s, the idea of renewable energy was still incredibly new. Large amounts of oil and natural gas lay beneath our land and off our shores, untouched. It is uh, almost a culture for those people to reject anything else but conventional fuels. My point was to educate people that solar energy can do serious work. He said, I want to create a solar tandem. He drove the picture and said, how can I draw it? I don't know. Solar tandem was unusual, out of the box, and it intrigued the people. And I said, let's make this problem even bigger, put a canopy on the top, which makes us top heavy, and then zoom through the desert. You're suddenly in the race. You strike your first hill and you think, God, how are we going to get past that? The motor didn't always work. The tires blew out. We were running behind schedule. It became a bit of a breaking point. You're wasting resources on a whimsical project that seems to have few practical benefits. As we approached the inner city, disaster struck. And we went <laughs> When the bike came down, it came down with a crunch. Well, everybody's a little bit stunned, of course. With those kind of things, you just try to manage the best you can to make it through. Those with the strange projects that you couldn't really understand, those were the folk who were worth collecting. He was undiluted passion about what he was doing. <laughs>